looks like we're going with Ford Rob as the big fly that makes her rounds. Can't get tired of looking at this. Into the fight for our greatest evening, Hope FC 8. Water to mop up, and we're going to get our third round. Let's hear it, everybody, for these two fighters here, fighting hard just for you to enjoy your Sunday evening here. I got very appreciative. Touch blocks for this third round, and clearly very tough. Oh, a solid leg kick, nearly buckets the second one. Kim is clearly tough. Oh, Superman punch lands directly to the face of Kim. Gokan seems inspired, maybe knowing he might be down two rounds. He thinks he has to go for the knockout now. And he's putting it all into it. Kim's eyes starting to see a little bit of a mouse under there. Another solid shot to the knee. That's how you take care of a tall man. Chop those limbs down. Uh, back into the clinch against the fence and looking to looking for a single leg takedown. But I don't know why he's doing that when he was having such success standing and striking with him. If I were him, I'd want to get out of that and get back to the feet as soon as possible. He's got to know he's in danger of losing this on the card. He doesn't want this to go to the judges at all. So this is Kim's, Kim's fight now. If he just hangs on like this for another four minutes, which is, you know. He's got to find separation here and get back to the striking where he's enjoying a lot of success. There we go, he breaks out of the, again. A good trip by Kim Wall. This could, this could be trouble for the pit bull as Kim has his back. Oh, a beautiful stand up, listening to the coach Ebersol. Beautiful way to get him to stand up. Driving his hips north. But Kim is relentless in his, in his clutch. Looking for a little ground and pound here. He's got a posture up. What is he in? Side control or half guard? Then? Hard to see. Feeding him a couple of ground and pound sandwiches. Both these fighters clearly very, very tired. And halfway through this third and final round, Gokan trying to move him away from the fence so he can't do a foot roll off of the fence. But he's got to break that post posture up. Well, he is inside control now. He's but he prefers to get back into a half guard. Trying to posture up. Feeds him a couple of shots. He's going to have to do more than that if he wants to pull out a win here. Once again, Kim working on that arm bar. Looks like he might be in danger of losing his arm again here. Kim is very wily on his back. Very active. stand up again but once again the pit bull pushes Kim against the fence looking to 
work more on that knee that he pounded so mercilessly in the uh, beginning of this round. It's just sitting right there for him. I'm not sure why. He... Wonderful takedown. But if he's looking to get it on points, he's, he's I think, going to be sadly mistaken. Maybe one judge might have him. Again, Kim working off his back, putting, putting the pit bull in danger. He switches to taking his back from his back to his back. A beautiful transition from Sakmo Kim. But he's pretty high up on his back. Should be able to shake him off. But Kim's got good wrist control of, uh, of the pit bull's paws. Must have it pretty deep in there if he can't pull it off. Yeah, yeah, it looks like. Only 30 seconds left in the fight. Looks like it might be too little, too late here. Smart fight by Sakmo Kim. He knew he was up in rounds and just played the clinch game. 10 seconds left. Very, very smart game plan by Sakmo Kim and his coach. And it goes to the judges. Very good fight. I'd like to see more of both these fighters sometime. Unsure why he wanted to get into the clinch, with the clinch game with him at the end of that round. Or actually, not even the end of the round. The last three and a half minutes of the round when he just came out firing on all pistons. Clearly having the advantage on the feet. I had my strategy and I followed my game plan. Was this the most adversity you faced in the cage so far though? Like the most danger you've been in? I think one of the most dangerous because my last opponent is from China and he's a... All three judges scored the about 29, 28. So to the winner, out of the red corner, Gokan the Pitbull took the Oh, we just got the announcement from the judges where Gokan the Pitbull won that fight. Did you see this fight? That's good. He did too. Did you think he won that fight? I think so. He been through some tough choke or submission, but he defends all the hard stuff and he came back. It was a good fight.